That's right. This is the master teacher, the quantum shifter, the gold breaker, greeting you, greeting you, you and you. That's right, once again, sitting in the captain's seat for the one, the apostle, the prophet, the cosmic commander. Oh, we want to share to you, Shalom Aleikum. Assalamu Aleikum. In hotel. Amari Amaragani, Amari Kaka, Amari Dada. Ola. Bonjour. Konnichiwa. Oh, you might as well come on in. Come on in today. Listen, we want you to immediately hit that share button. Come on, tell somebody. Hit that share button right away so this line can go on place. That's right, we're sitting up front today. Listen, you see I have on this ray. This, that's right, this blazing ray. Oh, my goodness. Outlined in white so that red can protrude out so that it can just hit you. Oh, come on, listen. We've been having an awesome time today. We've been talking about breathing. That's right. Come on, the quantum aspect of breathing. The art of breathing. Oh, but today we're going to talk about breathing and spit that fire. Oh, you might as well go ahead and accept it. You might as well recognize the fact that you're spitting that fire. But I need you to breathe. Listen, we want to say unto you, we thank you. Once again, never take it for granted or lightly, but we thank you for your time, your energy, your space and place and time that you are resting. You're ruling and abiding right here. That's right. The one, the one and only, the apostle, the prophet. That's right. The cosmic commander. But listen, you know him also as the host with the most. That's right, come again. You, you, and you from coast to coast. With 2,400 watts of power in this hour. Listen, y'all, it's gonna be too sweet to be sour. That's right, the ish man is in the house. Oh, see, I know him as the ish man. That's right, I know him as the ish man, man, bringing that fire. Set everything ablaze. Listen, if you don't wanna be ablaze, you don't wanna go ablaze. Exercise them so that 
is getting it out of that corner. So that means we know what we're doing. We got to control the fire. That's right. Listen, let me find out who's in the, in the room today. Why they hit you with some fire?
fire blaze, blaze, blaze. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we get ready to chop some. Sister Rhonda Moore in the house. Greetings. From Bowie, Maryland, that's right. Let us know where your hell is from. Humans breathe air that is approximately 
95% oxygen. You gotta breathe. 78.09% nitrogen. 0.93% argon. And 0.04% carbon dioxide. Like CO2, oxygen dissolves in the lungs. And it's transported throughout the body via diffusion or release across the lung tissues. Once in the blood, oxygen is carried throughout the body by the arteries to the heart and veins away from the arteries. And it's used in cell metabolism throughout the body. Reducing the amount of energy that's needed as it combines with the blood cells, the red blood cells, going to every vital organ, every cell to activate them. It breathes and gives off carbon dioxide. Oh, it spits out the gas. That's right, your body's breathing, your lungs are breathing, your cells are breathing, your organs are breathing. But in order to get rid of those things that are toxic, Oh, they got to release the fire. They release fire to get rid of those carcinogens, those cancer-driving cells and elements and things that are in your body, that are in your atmosphere. See, some people don't want you to breathe. When you breathe and exhale, you release fire because there's a level of confidence that you need to do that. That's right. If you sit and hold your breath for six seconds as you breathe in, then hold it for six seconds, then expel. There's a level of confidence that you take in. So now you're spitting fire that those things that are a hindrance.
be directional with your fires, to be purposeful and strategic. Listen, we've been dealing with that. We dealt with that's right with the color blue. We were talking about being purposeful, being intentional, and so the key is to be intentional in every space and place. Be intentional. Be strategic. That's right. Be calculated. Watch what it says here. Yes. When CO2 levels become excessive, a condition known as acidosis occurs. This is defined as a pH of the blood becoming less than 7.35. The body maintains the balance, there it is, mainly by using by carbon ions in the blood. And you got to understand what ions represent. Those elements that release those outer cell, outer shell electrons and either become a positive or a negative. But watch this. The place where it releases that information it tries to become that. Wow. Ion. To become that specific thing. To either gain an electron or to lose an electron. In other words, when you spit fire, and when it begins to burn up and do what it was designed to do, you're either going to gain some people or you're going to lose them. You're either going to gain protons or get rid of some electrons. Some negatively charged particles got to go. Oh, but that powerful primary proton, magnetic, it's going to do exactly what you call it to do. That's right. It's going to draw. It's going to add to the plus to add to. That's right. So you're going to add to your breathing. You're going to add to your fire. You're going to add to your ability to sing your words and watch them perform. Listen, I constantly say, I've watched, I've witnessed, I've experienced, I've felt. That's right. The one spit fire, spit his words. And listen over the years. My goodness, create it. Set something ablaze. Cause everything to be illuminated. Cause those colors to show. Oh, that's right. Burnt up the ashes. Lift them up. Yeah. Even send some water. That's right. He used to throw the water on you too. In the water. Oh. Man, hit you with that water. It's a curtain call. Yeah, yeah. The water was on fire. How many of you felt that heat? That's right. Send that cool water to you. Y'all didn't hear me. Send the cool water to you. But when it hits you, it sets you on fire. Yes. Water has oxygen in it. So when it hits that fire element, it has to go ablaze. It increases. Listen, we're looking to increase as we go forth. Let me show you how important spit and fire is. But I want to show you also an aspect of it connecting with what we have as negative carbon dioxide in our body. So you got to see the parallelism with us spitting fire, but yet by the same token, too much carbon dioxide in our body is toxic. Give it to us. It can be detrimental to our health. So now we see the flip side of it called symmetry, the balance of it again. We've been talking about balance. That's right. And harmony. Watch this. This is powerful. Jugglers and magicians, acrobats and sideshow performers have something in common that make astounding and difficult tricks look very easy. Watch this. Fire breathers who often specialize in one of these forms of entertainment amaze people because they seem to exhale a plump of fire as though it was as easy as taking a breath. As what? Taking a breath. 
What were they doing? Spitting fire. But fire breathing, watch this, it's the most dangerous of all fire arts. In other words, you've got to be skilled. You've got to know what you're doing in order to spit fire. Oh. People who breathe fire professionally have to go through great lengths to keep themselves and their audience safe. And since the process involves fire and flammable toxic fuel, fire breathing accidents can be deadly. In other words, if you're not skilled, you can set something ablaze. And it can be deadly. Yes. Why? Because you have those toxic fumes and those gases within you. Watch this. I'm, I'm, I'm being specific and strategic. Let me go ahead and put it on the timeline real quickly so you can always reference the info. Oh, my goodness, man. This is good to my soul. This is good. Yes, sir. Let's go. Watch this. Gratitude. The one. Y'all know that's the one. Y'all heard his voice. Yes, sir. We in the house.
It sounds simple. But controlling the fuel's direction and the consistency of the spray is a technique that takes lots of time to refine. Wait a minute. The fuel direction and consistency. Listen, you've got to be consistent with your declaration. You've got to be consistent where you sit in your fight to make something happen. Not only that, your technique has to be intact. It says that at a 60 to 80 degree angle. Now, guess what? There is a fuel source that the performance you utilize. So if they're not at the right angle, guess what will happen? The flames will back burn. It'll actually come back to them. Uh-oh. Wow. <laughs> so if that fire and fuel is not released between a 60 and 80 degree angle, it'll come back on them. Not only that, they will lose control of it and it'll burn up their audience. Some have been singed themselves. Their hair has been singed, their bodies. Why? Because they release fire at the wrong angle. You know the old terminology. What angle are you coming at me? Yeah, what's that angle? I I'm not sure where you're coming from. What angle are you coming at me? Where, where are you sitting this fire? Where is it coming from? Where is its origination? Where is its origin? That's right. So it has to be purposeful that it not sends you. Watch this. It said they focus, there it is, they focus on controlling the spray's direction and consistency. And you can still see the fuel in the air. So as you release fire, the fuel actually manifests itself. Oh my, give it to us, Apostle. Watch what it says. Gunner adds that if the spray is not fine enough, if the spray is not fine enough, in other words, when you're spitting that fire, it has to be so concentrated in the area that you're trying to send it to that it accomplishes purpose, its task. You want to be precise and accurate. That's right. Represent hitting it in that same location, not getting outside of its border, and precise is going directly where you send it. So you can be accurate and precise at the same time. You can also be accurate but not precise because you can be off your target and hit five times in the wrong place and you're still accurate, but you're not precise. Yes, sir. So you have to be accurate and precise with your words, with your thoughts, with your energy. Watch what it says here. Once again, Gunner adds that if the spray is not fine or fine enough, the fuel can catch fire and then fall to the ground and burn. <laughs> so now, think about what you have on the inside of you. Think about if you're trapping carbon dioxide. Think about what it's doing to your body. Think about the blades that you're creating. Think about the inconsistencies that you're creating. Look what it says here. Another important factor is that the angle of the fuel and therefore the flame. So the importance is the angle of the fuel and therefore the flame. Pele explains that it should be between 60 and 80 degree angle, right? Lord, anything lower can make the flame come up on a body part. Oh my goodness. <laughs> anything below the 60 degree angle can cause it to come up on a body part. And anything higher can cause the unignited fuel to fall back in the face of the one who spit the fire. In other words, the angle is extremely important. Watch this piece. When preparing to breathe fire, performance 
Performers examine the surroundings, including the direction and the speed of the wind. There it is. You've got to even consider the wind. What direction the wind is blowing? What's the force? What's the temperature like? What's the debris that's around it? So now, when you come into the truth session, listen, that's right. The music is strategic. The singing is strategic. The voice of the one when he comes in is strategic. You've got to be accurate. And aim that fire at that target that you may cause an incineration. Come on. So they respond to every subtle nuance in the air. Let me say that again. I, I just proved to you what I said about the one's words. It says here that the flames respond to the subtle nuances of the air. So I've watched words being released and come up to borders and things that appear to be a, a hindrance, an obstacle, a stumbling block. And I've watched the words strategically and patiently wait to ensure that the target was hit. Because it adjusted to the nuances of the atmosphere. But it also says be aware if there are power lines or if there are trees with low hanging branches. Be aware of where your audience is and where you are anything that might be around you. So now what do we do? We watch the people that are around us. Listen, I understand the strength and the effects of my words. So I'm careful who I demonstrate with. Oh. I'm careful who I demonstrate with inside of my environment, outside of my environment, where I send my words, what I think, what I focus on, what I meditate on. Listen, the mind is a powerful tool, powerful tool. And as the old commercial says, it's a terrible thing to waste. So what do we do? Send out fire from our thoughts. It was the thoughts that caused it all. So what do you want to do? Send out fire from your thoughts. Your words are just a byproduct, though. But it's your thought, your energy. What is fuel? What is fire? Energy. Where are you sending your energy? Are you sending the right energy to yourself? That's right. You can't create it. You can't destroy it. Are you sending the right energy to you? Come on, Prince of Peace. Let's put some fire. That was the next. 
director of KD. this on it as well. Burns are the most obvious fire breathing danger. Performance, performers can influence the direction of the fire, but they cannot actually control it. Mm. So there's an element of direction being controlled, but the fire itself, they cannot control. Watch this. Shifting wind or other conditions can cause the flame to get out of control. Burning the fire breather, the audience, or the property. Another burn habit hazard is blowback, which is when the flame follows the fuel back to the performer's mouth. Listen, we have a lot of people out there who are spitting the wrong kind of fire and don't realize how toxic it is unto themselves. So, what we do here is release an element of love even when we're spitting fire. Sometimes you have to spit fire that you may burn away some things so other individuals actually can see the love that you're projecting toward them. There may be some film, there may be some toxic individuals are toxic waste in their environment and the only way to get rid of it is to burn it up so that the next level of your purity your understanding can evolve that's right look at this fire breathers also risk several other immediate and long term health effects including skin irritation, dry mouth gum disease, stomach ulcers, poisoning, watch this, and chemical pneumonia or acute respiratory distress. So now, it behooves you to download as much of this information as you possibly can so that your thoughts, your energy, your words can be released at the right angle, at the proper timing, with the right amount of energy on it, so that you cause those in your environment to live. It's about life. It's about breathing and spitting fire. You want to spit that fire so that those things that were placed in your environment without your control not remain. That's right, certain things are out of your control. But once you've gotten wind of it, you can get rid of it. Absolutely. Listen, I've positioned myself in certain instances where there were toxic people in the environment. Did I have to deal directly with them? No. I just released my words. And watch that energy go somewhere else. Listen. 
There are times when people don't have your best interests at heart or at hand. You don't have to wrestle with them. Listen, I'm not trying to disprove a lot. What did Gandhi say? And I got this from the word. A lie can never be the truth no matter how many times you tell it. So I'm not trying to wrestle, wrestle away a lie that somebody has told about me. That's your burden to prove. I'm, I'm not trying to wrestle with you a lie. I'm just trying to be the best one of me, the next one of me. I'm just trying to project the truth, not fight against the lie. Don't waste your time fighting off lies, defending yourself against the lie. A lie always leads forensics. It always tells on itself. See, some people just don't want to see you succeed and be successful and to grow and to grow your businesses and to develop relationships. They would rather pour gasoline on it and set it ablaze. But I told you, you can use the process of back burning where you already set it ablaze where nothing will get past it. That's right. Forest fires or well, uh, Force fighters. They use that method. Those firefighters that always come back, those force fires, they use a method called back burning. So there may be water on one side, and there may be land on the other side of it. So what they do is to keep it from continuing to burn, they burn a certain area of it. Creating ashes, creating a border, so the fire never gets past it. Listen, listen, you can create a border, you can create an aspect of truth so that a lie won't penetrate it. Your actions, your characteristics, your personality, your MO, your mode operandi, your, your integrity. Not only your integrity, of having the right way of doing things, but the structure that you build, the foundation that you build, will have the right integrity. So when those who want to undermine it or come against it, guess what? They can't penetrate it because you already set a precedence as to how you operate, how you love, how you release words of love, a place of life. 
Thank you. 